Hi there. Okay, so I wanted to do a, a short little video on how to do a, a pickup item for the um, uh, melee weapon. So we're going to use this uh, mace one. So if you go under UFPS base content prefabs pickups under the weapons folder, you'll find the mace. So I'm going to do the sword 06. Um, that I created uh, in the prior video. So if you go into the swords, go to sword 06. So this is my this is my weapon that I'm gonna do a pickup for. So I'm gonna drag this into my scene. I'm gonna put it um, so the mace is right there. I'm gonna put this one here. All right. So I've got it here. I'm gonna call this. I'm renaming it. Call it pick up sword. Now I've created a, um, a folder under my weapons called pickups. So I'm going to drag the sword in here. Um, now you will see that the sword has this animator on it. I don't need that, so I'm going to remove this component. Um, so since I've already created the item and everything else. I am going to pretty much cheat. So I'm going to take this. I am going to copy these components. So I'm going to copy that component. And I am going to paste as new component. So it's a little low. So I'm going to raise it up. All right, that looks OK. You can fine tune this. Uh, next one, audio source. Copy component, go to my sword, paste as new component, got an audio source. Next one, the VP item pickup script. So I'm going to copy this component, go to my sword, paste as new component. Under the item, you want to change this to, I did my sword of six. So if you don't know how to create this, uh, watch the prior video. Now I don't need to change this recipient, I don't need to change the sounds, and I don't need to change the message because they use these smart tags to it says pick up picked up two. And that means your display name full. So if we actually look over here at our sword, we put here display name sword. So we already assigned it when we created that. Um, and they've got the failed message, so I don't really need to change them. Um, so now we have the item. So let's see what's after that. We've got the Bob script. So I'm going to copy Bob and paste it as a new component. I'm not changing anything. Now I'm going to take the spin script, copy, and paste as new component. I'm going to minimize these. So what else we got? Ah, oh, respawner. So I'm going to copy the component, and I'm going to paste as a new component. And that is it. So now, if I come over here to my sword, I can apply it because if you remember, we put it here. So I can apply it and I will save it as the scene. So on my advanced player, originally we had sword, halibut, and mace. I removed the mace because I wanted to show, see it's down here, I want to show what happens. So if I hit play, it's going to tell me that I cannot pick up the sword because I have a sword here and my cap is one. So if I come over here to the... So see, I already have a sword. See right there? So I'm going to walk up to this one. Can't carry another sword. But if I go to the mace, I now have a mace. But if I die, the mace goes away. Um, so uh, the the mace will go away. So you see it's here. So this mace is going to go away if I die. Uh, let's see if I can die real quick. Uh. All 
Alright, so when I die, you will see... Oh, the mace didn't go away because... Yeah, I didn't have reset on respawn. So when you have this uh, reset on respawn off, it will um, keep any weapons that you picked up. So if you picked up your sword, uh, pistols, and everything else, they'll show up here again. But when you turn it off, so if this is checked, then that means anything I pick up is going to go away. So now, so I don't want the sword to be there, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the halibut off too. So now I have no weapons when I start. When I die, they're going to go away. And then hit play. When I hit Q, uh, there's no there's no weapons. I don't have any weapons. So if I come over here, I've got a sword. I've got a mace. So when I die, well, that didn't work very well. I come over here, I got a bunch of I'm going to respawn in a random place. Now, if we look over here in our inventory, I have nothing. So if you want those to show up, um, you have to you have to have this right here reset on respawn turned off. Or if you want them to always have a weapon. So for instance, if we want them always to have the mace, then you're going to want to put the mace up here. So we need to keep this mace item up here, or any weapon that you want them to have every time they respawn. So it's, it's either have it up here or down here, turn this off because you saw when I died that the weapons went away. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, another thing you could probably do is drop these. Like uh, Maybe we'll do a script later or something where you can drop a weapon or something or put it in a different inventory or something. So anyways, um, that's how we do the items. Um, nothing wrong with cheating. So I like this mace, the pickup mace, because it moves when you hit play. They they move around as opposed to um, there's another one where it just sits still. But um, you see in an environment like this, it's it's kind of hard to see them. So in game, I mean, you might even want to put some sort of effect or something on it. So. Um, a lot of games are just laying on the ground, which, I mean, can be fine, depends on what you want. And you could do the same thing. Um, if you're going to have it laying on the ground, you're just going to want this uh, pickup item script. You're not going to need, uh, well, you will need the pickup item, and then if you want it to respawn, you're going to need this VP respawner. Uh, these other two are just extras that they threw in to make a move around. Alright, have a great day.